Is it one? No, it's two. Sad by sad, I don't have no clue. I'm talking the hardest, shedding out gigs. Cappy is the name takes out of the blue. CM is the one with sense. Hence, you can't just sit on the fence. Come true the foolishness, just look at the gaffer and sit on the bench. When you talk about wins, we got that. Time to settle this thing with a chop back. Aim top corner, roll top scorers. We spread the play that floor up. Out in the field, United twins are the next of kings. Question debate is a show that brings in a one feet one trying to see who wins. And UFC. Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Manchester United 4, Aston Villa 2, and that was a game of two halves. It would have been safe to say that a lot of people were disappointed with the team's first half performance in terms of our attacking output. Both teams, when you think about it, there was a decent amount of possession for United in particular, but that didn't lead to any great chances created. And a lot of the time when we entered the final third, things broke down pretty quickly. Second half was where things picked up for the better and worse at times. The first bit of goal came from a bit of sloppiness in their end between Martial and Fred. Could have been a handball when it hit Ramsey, but regardless, they counted with speed and a finish by Watkins was class. Nobody was aware of his run. Nobody was aware of the ball that was on quick enough and that's where we got caught out. The Martial equaliser was absolutely criminal defended by Villa. The low ball down the line to a running Bruno who just squares it to Martial in the box. Three passes that took them out almost immediately after kickoff. Incredible response. Villa's second was absolutely poor in my opinion. You give Ash Young all the time to dribble closer and closer towards the box and we all know he has the ability to deliver a decent cross. The substitute Bailey back post and he's able to head it in with help from Diogo Dodo. Lucky. You could say unlucky for him. But we didn't do enough beforehand to prevent that moment from happening. Hmm? Our second was just sweet patience in the box from Rashford. Ball from Malaysia, Rashford wins the initial header and I believe the defender got a piece of the ball, but everything after just rewarded that piece of luck. Rashford getting a well-deserved call up to the World Cup squad for finishes like that. After the game went 2-2, you could feel a shift in energy with not just the players, but the sets of fans. Manchester United grew in confidence and we put Villa under constant pressure. A mistake from Olsen in goal and we capitalise. We need to eat off those on a consistent basis. Garnacho received and played the correct pass. First time for Bruno to take a touch and finish. First time we took the lead. The fourth goal via Scott McTominay and at the time was a perfect ending to what was a chaotic second half for many reasons. A sweet delivery once again by the young Alejandro Garnacho and Scott just sticks out a boot as it bounced into the Villa net ultimately finishing the game for good. It was integral for me that we at least responded in a positive manner today, CM. After the weekend defeat, and in the second half, we did just about. We yeah. did it just about. Having to come from behind in any game, multiple times is a tough thing to do. And we dug ourselves out a pit way too many times. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy, but... Let's not get in that position in the first place. Definitely. Yeah. It's got to happen on a consistent basis and we all know that. Today, it was a cup game. A one-off knockout round and the most important thing is that we're through to face Burnley in the fourth round after the World Cup And With that in mind, with that in mind, our next and final Premier League game before the break will be against Fulham away from home on Sunday at 4.30pm UK time. So be sure to look out for the match reaction of myself, Cappy, and my bro CM over there a little after that. Probably the same, yeah, probably the same day on that Sunday. So look out for that. Be sure to check the description, follow all of our socials, drop a like on the video, subscribe, 
Drop a rashy in the comments to let us know you were here to the very end. And until the next time, we'll see you on Sinner.